All right, guys, well, I'm back today with another budget soft body armor review, and this particular vest is from Safe Vest. This is a level 3A rated soft armor bulletproof vest system that has the ability to accept plates and is a one size fits all. Now, Safe Vest sells these on sale right now for $279, but they've included a coupon code 704 Tactical for 10% off to drop the price down to $250 with free express shipping for this entire soft armor setup. Now that is a pretty awesome deal if it works and there are some things I want to talk about right off the bat so you don't click away and order this without knowing the full details. When I received the vest, I actually received the vest and it had overseas writing on it and this vest I confirmed is made overseas. Now this was a shock to me. I'm used to all my soft body armor being made in the United States of America, and I've never had one made overseas. That is a big concern of mine. Also, there are no actual certifications sewn into the plates themselves, and when you open them up from the bottom, I've checked the front back on both of the plates, there are no actual certifications on the plates. So for resale value or to give it away, there's no expiration dates. There's nothing on the plates or the care itself that says what it's rated to stop. Now, I contacted SafeFest with my concern concerns and they said they are level 3a and they sent me over a paper where they had one of their vests certified now again that was one of the vests they had certified so you may want to reach out to them to get the actual certification standards and who did the testing at the vest itself is a one size fits all style vest and it's got spots with Velcro to put in hard plates in front of that soft armor. This is also kind of a stab-proof rated vest, which is, you know, and I say rated. I'm, it, they claim that this is also stab-proof. We'll test this down at the range. And overall, it feels uh, kind of cheap, to be honest. This is a really cheap kind of nylon material with a lot of single stitching, and I'm not a huge fan. There's no moisture wicking technology, no vents or anything like that. I've tried U.S. produced $300 vests that have that good moisture wicking technology. They've got a much nicer feel to them, and they're built with a much better quality. So right off the bat, this is really just kind of cheap, flimsy material, and I'm not sure how well this would actually hold steel plates, although I really don't plan on trying it. A vest like this, for me, is never about a plate carrier. It's more of a quick, throw-it-on-you, soft, concealable vest. But enough talking about that. Let's head down to the range, actually wear this a little bit more than I already have while doing some shooting. I'll update you guys on its feel, even though I can already tell you guys when it's hot, this is not comfortable, and again, it doesn't breathe well at all but we will shoot some more with it just to give it you know, one more shot. And then we will be testing it with a wide variety of calibers uh, down at the range to see what this particular vest can actually stop. So stay tuned for that. So I've been wearing this vest down here and it is hot. And guys, this does trap the heat. There's no ventilation on the sides. It's that nylon and there's no moisture wicking technology, but it's not horrible. It's definitely usable. And it actually fits very comfortably to the body and allows you to shoulder your weapon really nicely. Um, and everything feels good. To be honest, it's pretty darn comfortable and flexible out here as soft body armor should be. It should not be getting in your way while you're wearing it. And this stuff does a decent job, but again, it's kind of cheaply made and it's definitely hot out here. And this is just trapping in the heat to my core. But the last and final test is let's shoot this thing. So I've got some wood set up down there. We're gonna drape it over, fire some rounds and see how this does. First up, five shots and nine millimeter at about 10 yards. We'll see how this does, a good baseline. It better stop all of these and I think it will. So 
So here, one, two, three, four, five. Now this one is on the borderline of the armor. The armor does sag down low in the carrier, something to consider. So we may have actually had that one go through, but let's check. So nothing has went through. Even that top shot actually still stopped the armor. So right off the bat, I am really impressed and the armor itself seems to be holding up with its integrity. So let's strap it back on and shoot it some more. Next up is 357 Magnum. What I want to do is kind of give a realistic test of what this can stop, but I really want to focus on a few calibers. One being 9mm and its multi-strike capability, and the next being a more powerful cartridge, 357 Magnum out of this Colt Lawman. So I have six loaded up, and we're going to see even if after the damage it took with those five 9mm, can it stop six 357 Magnum? At that point, I'll be incredibly impressed for a high value setup for $250, but let's see. All right, guys, so we've got all of our hits pretty much square. Um, it looks like though that this one right here actually missed the armor, it looks like it just went and grazed the side of it. So what we will do is open this up and take a look and see what we have. I fully expect the one that missed to go right through, but... So yeah, guys, this one just missed the armor, but it stopped all of the other 357. So this plate is doing an amazing job. I'm actually really surprised. So we are, I guess, five hits with 357, five hits with 9mm, all stops. Let's keep shooting it. Six rounds of 45 ACP out of this high point carbine in the HTA stock. Looks like we've got hits right on top of hits in multiple locations. Let's see if it stops. And yes, guys, we only have that 357 still that missed the armor completely, but it stopped everything else. You can see it's bulging out a little bit, but guys, for $250 uh, budget armor. This stuff is doing pretty darn good. Let's keep shooting it. 10 rounds of 9 millimeter. All center of mass hits. Let's see though, did it stop them? Yes, guys, it just keeps stopping them. I mean, this is multi-hit function out of budget body armor with that code. And that code, again, guys, is 704 Tactical for 10% off. Um, what I want to do now is we'll probably shoot it just a couple of more times, and then we'll test the stab rating. Now we're at about 7 yards. I've got 38 Special Plus P and 357 Mix Bag in this cylinder. Let's see how it does. All right, guys, one hit really low and one hit high, but let's see. Nothing. It 100% stopped it. This was the only one that went through, and again, that was the one that missed the armor. Let's try to stab this thing and tear into it. All right, guys, so I've got the I got ultra cheap knife. I left all my knives, I cleaned them out of the truck the other day, but I've got this one and I'm gonna put a lot of force on it. That's the good thing about this larger knife is it's got a sharp enough point. We're just testing to see if we can stab through. So here we go. All right, now that, those are pretty tough stabs. And guys, nothing went through it stopped all of that so th i mean that's pretty darn good in my opinion i think that definitely uh passes that stab test let's open this up and take a look all right guys so i've counted about 29 or 30 hits and this is the only one the 357 magnum that kind of barely nicked the side that is the only one that went through and that missed the armor so i mean guys even multi-strike hits back to back on top of each other over and over again, up to 357 Magnum, this stopped it, no problem whatsoever. This, guys, is incredibly impressive for the price. Uh, remember what I said in the intro, you know, 
The plates themselves are not technically, each of them have the certification stamped on them, but the company, I did confirm, will email you the certifications if you want to see those. And look at all these bullets, guys, that this thing is stopped. So for me, the proof is here. Again, I'm just doing the independent evaluation of this product. And man, it seems like it works really, really good, especially for that price. So those are all the bullets. Looks like this is the Kevlar, and this actually does have foam and plastic, which may add the rigidity that we're seeing here to this. And this is a lot of Kevlar inside here, uh, more than I've seen in other plates. And maybe that's how they're uh, keeping this rigidity with the plastic and just the overall performance. So what I'm gonna do is collect all the bullets and then show you guys all of those. Guys, we pulled off about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers of Kevlar, and all of these rounds right here were trapped inside the Kevlar. You can see the deformation of some, and some still remain almost intact. But all of this was stopped by this armor. And I wanna iterate, guys, look how much Kevlar is left. I'd say about 85% or 80% of the Kevlar is still here, meaning this could continue to take hit after hit after hit after hit. In fact, you could probably reseal this, remove that Kevlar, flatten it back out and be good to go for another, I don't know, 40 or 50 rounds. I'm, this is kind of shocking me, especially coming with an overseas product that has no actual certifications on the armor. This is incredibly impressive. And I really do just love the fact that this is a solid set of armor for a very reasonable price. Again, links for this stuff and that coupon code will be in the description below. And if for some reason you guys need the actual certification, remember to reach out to these guys and they'll send that over. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.